This is Becky Brumlick with the Watercolor Classroom. Today we're gonna to paint this cute little guy and I'm going to use some mostly bigger brushes and go quickly, um, except for around the eyes. And I always do the eyes first. If you've never painted eyes before, you might wanna do a study on another piece of paper. I've also used Frisket if you need to learn how to do that. Um, go to, my, to the end plate and, and you'll see the video for using how to apply frisket. And I'm gonna start with this eye because it's out in the open. And we need a little bit of a green color, but a very low key green color. The iris is always round. And then as that comes out, it gets into a yellower color. Dipping my brush, drying it off, and bringing just a little softening that edge. And I'll do that again so that there's a little bit of that glow there um, without. Now this gets way darker right here so that it actually matches this part which is pretty black. And then there's the dark pupil, which isn't actually black, so I'm putting this on watered down. There's some eyelashes coming through the, um, the sparkle in his eye. for it to dry. Uh, this is dry now, so we can go back to this side. I'm getting some more Payne's Gray over here. And I'm gonna get this part of his eye. I'm using my smallest brush that I picked out for today for this, but I won't be using it for everything. I've just decided to go with some darker eyelashes here. I have on my palette Payne's Gray, Dioxazine Purple, Thalo Blue, Red Hue, Gamboge, Quinacridone Rose and Quinacridone Rust. I'm going to keep going on this eye. So up here um, is some rust. Now you can mix rust with Payne's Gray to make a brown gray, or you can mix it with blue and it makes a gray. And you can add some purple if you, you want, red. This is actually quinacridone rose, but it works really well for a red. So I want a color that's a little rusty, but not so loud as this for these little hints up here of, of rust. And then it goes right away into a darker color. So I'm using Payne's Gray, but I'm mixing it with some brown, and if for some parts of this, I'll have some blue. Right in the middle there was a darker spot, and then it lightens as it comes down. And has a little bit of the rust in it. I'm cleaning my brush off so that I don't put so much paint down on this spot. And this comes down right down to the eye right there. Kind of lost that corner of my eye, which is a reference point. So 
hope that's right because I've lost my drawing as well. And those little details matter if you want it to look, have the personality of the animal or person. I'm going kind of slow for this part. There's some gray there, and then it gets into a more of a blue-gray. Water it down for that lighter part. All of this is lighter, and I got way less blue than I was hoping. Actually, it needs some purple in there, I think. It just gets into these grays all the way up here. I'm not sure how I'm finishing the top because it's pretty white. I'll probably finish it with the background. It's more important to have your values right. Than to have your colors right. That's quite light down here with some dark behind it. And then it gets darker as it goes over. Now I don't plan to spend all this time on this whole thing, just mostly on this part. The eyes and the mouth, nose, especially for dogs. And now I get into a little grayish tan. And that continues over to here. I'm actually going to take this up further. Yeah, there's some more blue in this part right here. Pretty dark right at the bottom, and that'll make a difference for the rest. And then there's this center line that goes down. I'm just gonna kind of let that run. Okay, now the next thing that I really want to care about is the nose. And I'm putting some blue in the nose. I may make it a little bit gray, but putting some blue. And this now that was a very wet brush so that's really watery um, I dried my brush and now I'm going across with this to bring it out and it's pretty white at the top which I have just about lost. So I'm gonna lift. I like lifting with tissue. Again, like I said before, you don't want to um, 
You don't want to rub with a tissue. If you rub with a tissue, you lose a lot. Now I'm gonna soften that edge because it's not a sharp nose and go on down into this darker part. And there's one quite darker area, which I had drawn on. It helps if you draw that, those kinds of things. And it's a little bit wet to be doing that, so we'll just wait. Get some of my more shadows over here. Not really trying to get all of the little dots and stuff that are around his nose. We got some of this purple up coming up here. He has this center line that goes all the way from up there, all the way into the hairy part. And it. This part, all you can see is a little hook. Well, maybe it's a little C shape. It gets pretty light over here. It's almost the same color as the fur down here. I lost my purple color. I wanted some purple in there. There we go. And then we'll get our browns as well. This whole top part is Oh, my whole top part's light. This whole part is browns.
need to raise that down just a little bit in the middle there and make it darker. And from there we get into this really darker area and you need that you need that area in order to get the right um, for his nose to look 3d but like I told you some of my drawing has disappeared so I'm having a, having to make it up as I go you might want to make your pencil lines or tracing lines uh, darker than I did so that they don't get lost. And it goes darker right up to that eye place. And up here it gets lighter but it's got texture. So I think that's still not dark enough. I'm gonna wait. I see it gets way darker over here by this ear. I do have some frisket there, but I'm gonna make the lines go in just in case. There's a shadow from the ear that goes all the way up. That's quite dark. Oops.
I've kind of smashed my brush and gotten it all bumpy and I'm gonna get some of these colors on and get some of this. It's almost a dry brush. I'm doing it while that's still wet. And I wanna get some of that up here too. Right now I'm going to put on the background and I want to um, have the background done and then do my finishing touches and take off my frisket. And I would like to do a, a fairly loose background. Um, same colors. Same colors as I used for this into some of my blues up here to define the top of the head. And I'll just keep it light for a lot of it. It's time to sit back and go, okay, where does it need color? Well, the top of the ear is also light. And there's some frisket there. So I'm gonna put some more intense dark, getting lighter as I go across here. And gradually my whole background is getting filled in. And I can just work this to death. I'm sure you can relate. So I've put a lot of color on the background here and uh, it's, it's a little bit loud. And so I'm gonna go in with some darker colors in a few areas that are toning it down. And I'm gonna let it run together a little bit more uh, to make it, I want it dark at the head here. So that it's a little bit, a bit more subdued so that the dog is the main subject. And the dog will pop forward more when we get all that frisket off of there. that line. You need to make sure your paper is all the way dry before you take the frisket off. It dries wider than it looks like it's going to dry, some things like that. Now we have some plain tan on this nose over here. This just all needs to be agitated. Same with this. And then brought in with a lighter color. Just dried my brush off. I didn't rinse it. This needs to be made to match in there. And I'll soften this edge as well. This isn't exactly white along here. It's a little bit darker than light. Down here, I'm just agitating too. Something to uh, get 
rid of that sharp edge along here. So I'm basically going back and forth. I, I just might need to agitate it a little bit. And get rid of some of that. His face definitely um, doesn't have the contours it needs and that's always because of having values wrong. Now along here, I'm just gonna go back and forth a little bit so that it softens that edge some more. Bring some of this color up in between these hairs. This forms a triangle here and you need that to get the values right on his face. It already looks better just with that. And of course, we don't want it that sharp. There's another quite dark area here. Make this really dry so, I, so that it's light. Now I've walked away from it and come back and uh, I put it on the windowsill with the picture beside it and saw some things that I just want to touch up. Bleed proof white. I use it for rescuing things. Sometimes you don't get things exactly right and I don't like throwing away a whole painting. So I'm gonna get some of this on a very clean, totally unused part of my palette. Now I've got my brush pretty dry. And I'm just gonna put some hairs up in here to get this white part continuing. And try and get the shape of the top of his head back. And then the other place I'm spreading out my brush again like that is that I felt like I I'm gonna have to mix some color with my bleed proof white because I don't quite want it that white that I lost some of this fuzziness and I'll probably put that uh, do a wash over that so that it isn't such defined hairs at this part of the painting and then right here, there's another spot. Now 
this time I'm putting some darker gray with my bleed proof white so that it's getting some of these different layers of shadows that happened. Okay. Little, just little spots that showed. Now I'm going to go and put it again into the window. Just going to soften that line a little bit so that it's not so sharp. And then I'll put the little corner of the eye thing in. I believe it's time to take the tape off and see what we have. And there we have it. I still will probably do some tweaking and you always should too. Just put it in a windowsill beside your photo reference and you'll notice lots of little things just as you are walking by on some other errand. I hope you liked this painting and that you will subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and please send me a note. I'd love to hear from you. Happy painting.